Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. This is part one of a two-part video series where I would like to show you how you can execute your BAO workflows using RESTful web services. REST stands for Representational State Transfer. It's a lightweight alternative to mechanisms like remote procedure calls and web services and describes how one system can communicate state with another. Compared to SOAP protocols, REST call requires less bandwidth so they can return the results much faster. It doesn't require too much system resources and permits multiple data format like XML, JSON, plain text, HTTP, etc. In this video, we'll see how we can execute BAO workflows using both web-based REST clients and BAO HTTP adapters. To do this, we'll need to generate a session token and pass this token as input when executing BAO workflows. We'll also see how to retrieve the list of activated modules on the grid and get the process details for any workflow. Lastly, we'll cover how to fetch the status of any running job on the grid. Let's start with a demo. Let's open our web browser. At first, we need a web-based REST client. So let's open the Chrome Web Store and download a REST client. For the purpose of this video, I'll use the advanced REST client. Click Add to Chrome button and wait for the installation to finish. In order to execute any BAO workflows, at first we need to generate an authentication token. So let's open our REST client. In the first field, paste this URL. In here, as we are generating the authentication token, you can see the URL says REST slash login. Select the post button if not already. Over here, we need to provide the content type, which will be application slash JSON. Next, in the payload raw section, we need to provide username and password, which will be used to generate the authentication token. Provide the username and password in the following pattern and click the send button to generate the authentication token. As you can see, the status is successful and this is the authentication token. Now, we'll use this authentication token to make other BAO requests. So let's copy it. Now, let's see how we can retrieve the process details of any activated workflow on the grid. This is the URL syntax. Over here, we need to provide rest slash process followed by the module name for which we want to retrieve the information. Select the get radio button. Now, in the header raw section, provide the authentication token that we copied from the last request. This should be the format. Now click the send button. The status is successful. And as you can see, this is our process detail. So, in order to execute this workflow, we need to provide URL as an input parameter. Now, let's see how we can execute a workflow. This is the URL syntax. This is our process name that we want to execute. And the execution mode is sync. Now, since we are performing an action, select the post radio button. It has automatically populated the content type for us. Now pass the content type as application JSON along with the authentication token we previously generated. Now in order to execute this workflow, we need to pass the URL as an input parameter. So for the payload raw section, pass this value. Now we need to provide a value for our URL parameter. Our request is now ready. Click the send button to execute the workflow. As you can see, the status is success and it has executed our workflow. Now, in the next operation, we'll try to retrieve the list of all the activated modules on the grid. So let's go to the CDP.
go to the manage tab and click modules this is the list that we'll try to retrieve now this is the url format we have to provide rest slash module this time and since we are trying to retrieve a list of modules we'll select the get radio button now for the header raw section we need to provide the authentication token this is the authentication token. Now click the send button. Our request is successful. And as you can see, it has retrieved the list of all the activated modules from the grid. Now let's see how we can retrieve the job status of any running processes from the grid using REST. This is the URL syntax where we need to replace this tag with a job ID. Let's schedule a job on the grid and retrieve its job ID. I'll run this workflow. Now let's go to the console, my grid and job. Here we can see the job ID. Let's copy it. As you can see, the state is completed. Replace the job ID here. Since we are retrieving information, we'll select the Get Radio button. Let's provide the authentication token in the header section. Now click the Send button. The request is successful and the job status is completed. In the next part of this video series, we'll see how to carry out the same operations using our HTTP adapter.